The Passover holiday has almost come to an end, but festivals and services across Israel and Judea and Samaria continue to draw massive crowds of worshippers. And in particular, 25,000 people attended the annual Hebron Passover festival on Monday, while at least 1,500 more worshippers headed over to Joseph's tomb in Nablus. First, on Tuesday morning in the pre-dawn hours, busloads of Orthodox Jews from all over the region were ferried into the cave of the Patriarchs and Matriarchs, or the tomb of Machpelah. And while there, prayer services were conducted in addition to a concert featuring Israeli musicians. Additionally, as Hebron is consistently a flashpoint location for violence, Israeli security forces sealed off the area for the duration of the services. Then early Wednesday morning in Nablus, another some 1,500 worshippers arrived at Joseph's tomb for another session of annual prayers. And several high-ranking rabbis, public figures, and even Likud Knesset members were all included in the crowds. This, after over 100,000 observant Jews and onlookers, flooded into Jerusalem's Western Wall Plaza on Monday for the biannual recitation of the Birkat Koanim or the priestly blessings. The blessing is used as a sort of protection and guidance ritual, and it's read aloud by the descendants of the priestly Kohen lineage during the holidays of Passover and Sukkot.